Right, sir, you finish yours up. I try to get you out of here so you can. You're on number two. Yes. I got one. <laughs> Inform the board that the July 5th meeting, I presented a resolution for approval regarding the funding of the Army renovation project. To clarify the record, this resolution was not for the $180,000 grant, but in fact for $500,000 grant, the county is seeking to assist with additional renovations to the armory that the state is requiring. So I just want to be clear, that resolution was not for the one we are talking about, that was, the match was reduced. It was for another one, some stuff the state wants us to do that was totally outside what we, our scope. So that's what we're working on. Item number three, board action to award the contract for the purchase and installation of the warming kitchen equipment in the armory to strategic equipment. This is Mr. Warren Emo's recommendation. No move. Second. second. Have a motion second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Uh, item four, if you remember, we talked about this a while back. Board action to prioritize and submit projects for FDOT's five-year plan. These projects will create, will create a wish list and must be in order of priority. These projects can be anything related to transportation, such as road paving, I'm sorry, road repaving, sidewalks, the airport, etc. The board discussed paving Highway 98 from Avenue, Highway 98 Avenue E from 12th Street to Tilton Road in Apalachicola and Highway 98 from East Point to Caravel. Are there any additional projects the board would be interested in submitting and in what order? Uh, as we say airport there, whatever you guys, what do we decide this morning, I'd like you guys to leave the motion open where I can contact Jason Puckett at the airport and see if any projects he could add to the, to the wish list. As far as DOT projects. Yes, right? ma'am. If you guys they've don't been mind. pretty fortunate at getting that on their own. <laughs> yeah, uh, but <laughs> another project, uh, if I might, Mr. Chairman, mm -hmm. another project that I would like to look at is extending the sidewalk uh, on the north side of Highway 98 from uh, there in front of the Napa store in Apalachicola out to the IGA. There's a lot okay. of people walking back and forth on the sides of the road that don't have a, a designated sidewalk in that area. And I don't, I don't want it on the bay side because the chance of it being uh, tore up in a storm or whatever. So mm -hmm. I want it on the north side of the Highway 98, a sidewalk put from uh, to join up where the sidewalk stops now, down to the IGA and the dollar store and the Ace Hardware right in that area mm -hmm. to, to try to put a sidewalk down through there for the pedestrian to use. I pass a lot of people that are walking it day and night. I guess they don't have automobiles, so there's a lot of walking and bicycle traffic through there. And, uh, okay. Now, okay. will, will we make that number two or number three? As we, I would say number three because this road pavement is crucial to from East okay. Point to Carabelle and from Appalachia out to Tilton where they just stopped mm -hmm. where the contractor okay. slid off the road. I brought that up to DO2 uh, three years ago when they were here and I'm meeting them about okay. the, the grooves and all and the hydroplane issue yeah. from there to Tilton. Uh, uh, I was, I was going to ask the board, in, in, between East Point and Carabelle, do you want Mark to be very specific as areas or just the whole the, an entire, entire project? The whole project is passed up. This, okay. Know, and, and, and the board is okay with me to allow Jason to add to your list as uh, below your, your three items. Unless the board has another project. Uh, Mr. Noah, you got anything on Highway 98 that you want? No, that would be good right there. What you put in? Y'all got anything over? I was trying to think most of mine is pretty good. Right. We just got all the sidewalk, yeah. flower beds. Yeah. It's pretty good. I'm going to Yeah, all okay. the way. All the way. Okay. So I guess the remaining, from Mike, if they want to do something at the airport. Okay. The These three plus that. whatever the airport submits. Okay. I, I can't think board. of anything else over here. That's no, because it, it, well, now I tell you what, a lot of the people had, had asked me a, a, a bike path between Carabell and Lanark. So that would okay. be good. I mean, put that up there. And then, you know, if <coughs> one falls short, then we can add the airport stuff to that. But okay. include a bike path from Carabell to Atlanta. Number four. Be, okay. Which would ba be basically a sidewalk. Yes, ma'am. What we're saying. And especially now since the county is going to own the El Elf Court. Court property. So that'll be good. Okay. Um, I'll ask for board action just to make sure that you know that's what Mark needs to submit those four plus anything the airport would add to it. Now the the only highway is 98. Yes, right? sir, because that's state, only state highway. 
as it go from 98 to uh, the island. Then we straight on that, we're getting bike paths in there from that state. That's a good point. That is a state road as you come off the bridge. Um, 300? Yeah, yeah, 300. Is there anything there you want to see? Well, I believe that it's already in the plan to have bike paths. I think so. That project, right. yeah. Can you check and I will. That? If not, I'll, I'll just submit. It's a wish list, you know. They're, they're not asking for cost of engineering, just just a list. Okay. And I would make that number five if it's if it's so. Okay. Got it. So I, just, I would like a motion if you guys don't So move to me. Second. Second. I have my second. I'm flavor. All opposed. American carried. Item number five, board action to authorize the transfer of sixty thousand dollars from the ship disaster program line item to the ship down payment assistance program and emergency rehab program. There are currently eight applicants for down payment assistance and the county hasn't received the funding for the ship program from the state as yet. Ms. Weiser will replenish the disaster program once the county receives the state funds. So moved. Second. I much a second on four. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed, motion carries. Real quick on that, yes, sir. Um, there's going to be two people left out of this thing. If there's eight and you're only getting $60,000, which I guess that's all we have set aside in the disaster fund. Yeah, I will ask her if she wants to. Well, unless the well, other two. Now may be. Later on, by the time she, uh, she's probably expecting by the time she gets the money, she can address the other two. So okay. she's only asking okay. for, the, for these. If you would have her give me a call, please. I will. Uh, the next item, item number six, uh, I think you guys probably got this email, but I just want to make sure, inform the board that the county received a letter from State Senator uh, Wilton Simpson, informing the board of Senate Bill 436, the Public Servant Protection Act that will take effect on October 1st. This law will criminalize threats of death or seriously serious bodily harm made against law enforcement officers, state attorneys, firefighters, judges, and Elect, elected official and their families of these public servants. Copies of the Senate of Senator Simpson's letter and a copy of the law are attached to your packet for you to circulate to your constituents if you would like. Item number seven, inform the board that there has been some upgrades to the county's website besides the new look, which includes new pictures. There are links that allow the public to comment or report concerns. It also will make it easier for the public to find information regarding meeting dates, agendas, minutes, etc. And I will tell you, from the day that went online, I started receiving comments on my email like right away of things people liked and didn't like. They even commented at, at the meeting that uh, Commissioner Sanders and Allen went to that Saturday down to Alligator Point. I got comments on that, you know, so it's working well. And I tell them to go to it and use it. Yes, and for the public point of view, now when you click on the calendar, uh, you'll see like a, a Board of County Commission meeting. Right under that, they'll have a link to the ag agenda right away so they don't have to go back to the agenda website to find the agenda so I'm, I'm trying to make it as easy for the public to access information and to send me information as, as much as possible and let's see finally item number eight this inform the board that the city of Carroll's mayor La Paz sent a letter thanking the board for supporting the TDC funded city of Carroll's airport fly-in event a copy of that letter is attached to your agenda packet and that's I have a I got something for you. Yes, sir. It's just all for all of us, all five of us. Mm -hmm. My iPad to work is sending off the uh, post office crusted. Mm -hmm. Y'all having a hard time seeing this little because they got one just a little bit bigger than this than Michael said, just a little taller that opens up and see bigger. You better for me on that. I mean, yeah, because I'm just saying, I noticed, you know, it all piles well, up in one corner right here. Sorry, to, I'm, I'm like gonna, he's got that there and opens up big. You can see it. I'm going to tell you right what hard. the problem is going to be this afternoon and tomorrow is when you guys are going to have issues because you're going to have to yeah. keep spreading yeah. those spreadsheets that Aaron sent you guys. So if, if what you're asking me for, Commissioner, is one model that's a, well, it's just a little bit big, not the real. This is a know. laptop. This isn't an iPad, but there's a model of a screen about this size. Yeah. Is what, is what you're asking for, but it's yeah. still an iPad. It's a little bit heavier, though. I'm going to warn you, though. Is, I mean, the bigger you get, the heavier it gets. So, it's a little, but I, I ain't worried about the heaviness that's going to sit down. I'm just about the seeing part. You got, the, you got the worst <laughs> luck with your iPad. I've ever seen. It shattered again. 
the window busted and the post office got it and crushed it again so it's still in somewhere yeah they did the post office what did the damage when they were shipping i gotta go deal with them in a claim did, did they put them. fragile on there or something yep we stand yep. fragile on it and i'll be that. down they owe you a new i won't even comment post office yeah, well, the insurance, size the insurance won't come. Yeah, and check on. All right, I mean, we're going to don't you check on a bigger size and, and see. I'll, I'll report back to the board. You can on check that. on it. Yeah. I don't have no problem with you doing it. Why, why is you checking it, Mr. Tim? How about check on some shit for the commission? We're going to be in through the phone and leaving with a name brand on Shirts? Yeah. That way they will know where you're from. Yeah. Oh, for when you go to the conferences. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. You mean yeah. like what the other commissioners wear from the Everybody other Everybody had them on down there except us. Yeah, they need that, go. You got, you got these conferences. You got all this stuff to do with the oil fields. They go to a lot of meetings, and they need to be recognized. With their summer, everybody had a summer, but Franklin and Kai. <laughs> that ain't good. <laughs> Okay, anything else? Uh, anybody got anything for Michael? And just, a, just a reminder, 1.30 this afternoon, we start our budget process. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Uh, Who that? Who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure, you got anything? Uh, just one item. At the last meeting, you approved a staging area contract for Duke Energy at Apochicola Airport. Since your last meeting, I've worked out the details for a similar staging agreement at Kendrick Park. And I would request board authorization for the chairman to countersign that agreement once it is uh, received by me from Duke Energy. The uh, just so you'll know, just like at Apalachicola Airport at Kendrick Park, they would only activate the staging area and, and occupy the parking lot during declared states of emergency, and then uh, of course the fallout when you're dealing with the aftermath of the emergency, mainly hurricanes. What? What? Excuse me, Mr. Chairman. What time frame are we? Uh, is it a year? A year contract? It will or? expire December 2017. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. I have a motion second floor. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. uh -huh. All opposed? Motion carries. Yes, That's sir. all I have for the commissioners. Yeah, uh, it comes to my attention. We got some issues going on at the health department. We need to check into. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a, I'll bring it up. This young lady called me. They won't let her go. She's been there 13 or 14 years. Um, I'm not for sure, but I need you. Uh, uh, when we get through, I'll give you her name and I'll get a hold of her. They want to fire her. And for I don't know what reason they want to get rid of her. But I got some, she gives some information out. I'm not going to say it. I'll tell you, then it can come out. I, I guess she might have called the rest of them. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll receive a phone call Friday afternoon as, as well concerning uh, a health department related issue. So I'll get with the, the chairman or Commissioner Lockley. Either or one of us. I think Mr. Parrish probably got the same call. Did you get it? I'll get I did. I will get, get with all the commissioners after the meeting. She spit yeah. out some stuff that's pretty serious. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. I will contact each commissioner. Okay. Anybody got anything for Mr. Sure? Any public comments? Good morning, commissioners. Uh, quick one, I just, uh, just so I have my report correctly, on Gulf Shores Boulevard, are we actually going to, are we just going to reflag it right now and then decide what to do, or have we made a decision to go in and put some temporary Alan, right? Alan and Howard is taking care of it, so. I'm sorry, we flag Gulf Shores Boulevard? No, the access in the back way through. Uh, flag. Yeah, we're going to reflag uh, Pebble Ridge. And, but we are, are we going to actually go ahead and uh, with our county road equipment give them access through the back through that back right now? So we're planning once it's reflagged. Yeah, how, how okay. thinks he can do it, but we can't confirm anything until it's reflagged and we see where, where we need to go. Fair enough. Yeah. But if it's doable, you're going to do it. We're going to try and do it. We've got to try and give them access to that house. Thank you very much, Commissioners. Any more public comments? Meeting adjourned. Mm -hmm. What, what time? One third. One, one third. Column.